Good morning. Did you sleep well? Huh? Are they treating you good? They're treating you very good. This is nice. Look at this. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Where'd you get it? I get all my stuff at Target. Where you get yours, huh? So check this out. Look what I get to use for a couple of hours. Okay, so I'm thinking with the bike, we'll be able to cover more ground. Can I borrow your Mr. No. Bicycle? Bam. Okay, first stop right here, this view. Okay, so this is my first time holding this lens. And the first thing I notice when picking it up is the weight. It is extremely super light. So we got this view behind us and we're just gonna take some pictures and do some video. In my backpack, I do have the 24 to 240 millimeter RF lens also. So we're just gonna do some basic comparisons, nothing crazy. With the hood flipped backwards, it's really a small lens. Let's compare it with the 28 to 70 uh, F2 lens. Here they are with the hoods on, and you know, this one seems to be somewhat thinner, uh, the body of the lens anyhow, but here, let's remove the hoods. Okay, so here they are next to each other. 20 to 70 F2, 70 to 200, 2.8 lens. So right off the bat, this one is definitely heavier at three pounds, uh, and this one is, uh, lighter but when you telescope it out this is what you get 24 to 240 28 to 70 and 70 to 200 now this is the smallest of the bunch right here um, this is the heaviest and this one's in the middle um, but yeah there we go pretty cool okay as a wedding photographer i really appreciate the size and the weight just for the short period of time that i have with this lens i'm in love with it okay so i only have like about an hour with this lens so not that much time and i won't be able to take it to places and shoot things that i would like to shoot Okay, so I'm looking for something like super ultra majestic to take a picture of. Uh, there are no clouds, so nothing dramatic, and the sun is like right above us. Uh, eh, whatever. Okay, let's see if we find a good spot to photograph. Oh, look at that. We got a view over there. Let's take some pictures. Dirt, rock, and trees. Dirt, rock, and trees. That's how I get to photograph. You know, this place reminds me of like Zelda, or Breath of the Wild. Intermission time. Evil Knievel right here. What's up? What's up? And he's gonna go over here and jump. This log, this log is around eight feet off the ground. And uh, Mr. Gene over there is gonna attempt to jump it. I'll go slow first.
Okay, so who is this lens for? If you're an event photographer, a wedding photographer, pretty much if you're carrying your EF lens all day, then this lens is definitely worth it. If you occasionally shoot with your 70-200, uh, then you're okay with that EF version that you have already. As a wedding photographer, I am definitely gonna look into investing in this lens absolutely 100%. So, is this the best 70-200 2.8 lens ever created in the history of all lenses? Yes.